Dubbed a kiss of death by critics, the ESRB's adults only rating is seldomly used, but when it is, the effects are felt across the entire video game industry. The adults only rating has been around ever since the ESRB's creation in 1994. It is only one year over the mature category's ages 17 and up restriction, yet it is treated much more severe. So severe in fact that, apart from some extremely rare instances, whenever a game has been assigned a rating, it has then had to be toned down so that it can be rated mature instead. Last month for instance, the upcoming survival horror game Agony was revealed to be making cuts to all versions of the game, following being given the dreaded rating from the ESRB. The developers did mention however that they would be releasing an external patch for the PC version to restore the cut content. Console gamers though will have to make do with the mature rated version. But why then, if it's only one year over the mature category's age rating, do publishers feel the need to tone games down? What's this big force over adults only games all about? The first big thing to bring up about the infamous classification is a ruling that has been made by all three major console manufacturers that bans any game from being released for one of their systems with an adults only rating. Sony, Nintendo and Microsoft all clearly state that they will not allow adults only games on their platforms with Sony stating adults only or AO ratings are rare. PlayStation does not publish adults only games. Nintendo stating please note that Nintendo does not sell or license games that carry the ESRB rating adults only. And Microsoft, Microsoft does not support AO titles on Xbox 360 360, Xbox Live or as part of the Games for Windows branded program. This means you will never see an adults only game for consoles and if a developer was to get the racing they would then have to tone the game's content down to be able to release it on consoles. PC however is different and this means that you will be able to find a few adults only games on platforms like Steam. An example of this is the 2015 game Hatred which was slapped with the rating due to its intense violent themes. Hatred's developers spoke about the decision to rate their game adults only saying I would prefer to get a a standard mature rating because with AO we will have problems to get the game to consoles in the future, but on the other hand I think our fans would be disappointed with it. Even releasing adults only games on PC though comes with plenty of its own issues. One of these is the overall stigma these games can have over their content and most storefronts and services wanting to distance themselves from their taboo nature. Sticking with Steam, whilst Valve doesn't have a blanket ban on adults only games, they have rules that ban various types of content and some of these are the types of stuff that will to a game being given the rating. For instance, Rule 1 under what you shouldn't publish on Steam prohibits hate speech. Rule 2 bans pornography and Rule 7 blocks content that is patently offensive or intended to shock or disgust viewers. Hatred was actually initially removed from Steam soon after being put on Steam Greenlight. This was assumably due to it being seen as breaking one or more of Steam's guidelines. However, due to large outcries from the community, the game would be made available again and Gabe Newell personally contacted the devs to apologise and wish them luck on their game. For games that aren't as lucky as Hatred was though, there aren't many options left available for bringing them to the market. They can always offer direct sales on their own websites, but aside from this, options are slim. All major brick and mortar stores for instance also refuse to stock adults only games. Alongside the sales aspects, many other services prohibit adults only titles in other ways. Twitch for example has a complete ban on any adults only games from being streamed. An interesting aspect to adults only games is also how times change. What was once considered inappropriate can later be seen as perfectly fine. And a good example of this is the 2005 game Fahrenheit, otherwise known as Indigo Prophecy. This game, made by the same developers as Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, was initially given an adults only rating in North America, leading into the console version having to be toned down to get a mature rating. The European versions remained uncensored though, with some regions rating the game as low as 15 years and over. Fast forward 10 years later and the same game was released in a remastered version uncensored worldwide and with only a mature rating. This signifies a change in attitude within the ESRB and the industry and they're becoming a greater tolerance for more mature content. Speaking to Sensor Gaming last year, an ESRB spokesperson explained why the rating exists and how the ESRB isn't responsible for what is and isn't allowed to be sold by storefronts. To quote, while AO ratings are rare, it is important to have the category in order to inform parents of adult content. Ultimately, it's up to publishers, console manufacturers, retailers and digital storefronts to determine which games are made available available to consumers. It's not within ESRB's purview to suggest which games can be offered by console manufacturers or sold by retailers and digital storefronts. Instead, our goal is to inform consumers, especially parents, about the age appropriateness and suitability of video games and apps. The marketplace determines the rest. The ESRB has spoke about the rating numerous times over the years, with one of the more interesting comments coming from a 2012 interview with ESRB President Patricia Vance. In the interview, she was asked, has a lot of games moved from physical 
physical storefronts to digital storefronts do you foresee a rise in AO ratings? Because those will never be sold in stores for the most part. To which she replied, well we'll see what happens with AO. You know up to this point most people associate AO with sexual content. We've actually assigned AO ratings for violent content as well, it's just that most of the time that product gets edited or changed in order to warrant an M rating. So you'll never see it in the market. But yeah, it's very possible that there will be greater acceptance of an AO rating going forward. And by the way, I think that would be a good thing for the system. It's very frustrating that publishers can't release AO product in many cases. This statement clarifies that the ESRB does not have any issues with adults only games and would actually like to see them being sold more. Fans also highlights that some games will be toned down to avoid the rating before ever reaching the market, meaning that it's possible that you may unknowingly own titles that would have been rated adults only at one point and that this is something that the publishers never went public with. Like mentioned earlier in the video, the upcoming survival horror game Agony will be toned down with Y to avoid the rating, with an optional patch to uncensor the game on PC. But there are numerous examples of games running into issues because of this. Conan Exiles is another recent example, with the console versions having full nudity removed in the US console versions, as it would have led to it being rated adults only. Over in Europe and on PC, however, the game is fully uncensored. It's unlikely that games running into issues with the adults only rating is something that's going to change anytime soon. But like with 2005's release of Fahrenheit, it's possible that over time things will change and there will become a greater acceptance of content that is currently deemed too graphic in nature. This is an area of gaming that is always evolving and is something that we are always keeping a close eye on. If this is something you are interested in staying up to date with, please consider hitting that subscribe button and until next time, thank you for watching.